we wait Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hey guys, how are you? Today I am really excited because I'm working on something that you can just ever so slightly not see in the current positioning of my camera, and that is my closet, or specifically my lack of closet door. This has been something that's been an eyesore since before I even moved in, and it's super weird. This building just doesn't have closet doors. My mom lives in the next building, owned by the same people, and also no closet door. So every single day I'm looking in and I'm just seeing my clothes which by the way are a lot of them are unfolded in there so it's just not the nicest thing to look at I would love to have a door there and I am officially going to be making it now this is something that I've had on my plan since before I moved in but uh, a year later I'm just getting to it now my vision is to install a sliding panel door and if you were to look at sliding doors on line or from Home Depot or whatever, they are quite expensive, especially in Canada. They're really expensive. They can get up there in price. So I'm excited to also be making it in a budget friendly way. And it's kind of nice because this is a skill I have never done before, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna become a door builder today. My plan for this door is to make it out of wood and MDF. I want it to be taller than your typical door to kind of mimic the same concept as curtains. You know how curtains, you wanna hang them as high to the ceiling as possible to make the ceilings look taller. So that's kind of my idea with that as well. I wanna hang it relatively high and make the door taller than it otherwise would be. Without further ado, I think I'm going to head on out to the hardware store, pick up my lumber, pick up the MDF paneling, bring it all back and then we'll get started. Look at how beautiful it is outside. It is sun showering right now. Do you see that? I came down for a walk to see. It's so cool. Now it's just spitting though. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what kind of materials to buy to make the door. Just like finalizing my decisions. I've had like a lot of question marks going through as I've been researching this. And I'm either thinking of doing like, well, I was thinking of doing either a plywood backing and then adding MDF trim. But I think the easier way just based on transportation and stuff is going to be to build out the wood frame and then put MDF on the back. So I think what I'm going to do is get this select pine, which is like a higher quality pine that has like you know clean edges on it and then i'm gonna get some mdf panels and put them on the back that will also be like the cheapest cost wise as well Does that one look good I think so, yeah. you always want to check your wood so we got the rest of our supplies and we're good to go Okay, so we've got all of our wood here and the plan is for these to obviously be the tall vertical pieces and then all of these are going to be the horizontal pieces. I have thicker wood for the top and bottom and then slightly thinner wood for the middle pieces. Let's go ahead, I'm going to make my pocket holes now and that uh, should be pretty quick. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door So this is where we're at currently. We have the whole frame assembled already and it looks so good. I did notice like some of these pieces of wood are not perfectly square when we got them cut at Home Depot. There's like some tiny gaps and that's totally okay. Like when you assemble it and then we're gonna fill it, it's not even gonna be noticeable at all. And one of the most important things to do when you have pieces that you notice aren't perfect is 
as you're actually screwing stuff in, don't screw them in like 100% in your first round. Just leave them a little bit loose. And then after you have everything assembled, you can go ahead and tighten all the screws. And then that way it will all go together perfectly. If we had started from the top, and gone down panel by panel by panel and tighten them to 100% secureness the first time around, I don't know that this would have gone to plan. So right now it's looking awesome. And we can really see like how the door is coming along. Okay, so we have the frame of the door all constructed and now it's time to add on the MDF. But oh wait, the MDF panels I couldn't get cut to size at Home Depot because they're big saw that cuts those thin wide pieces of plywood and MDF. It was broken. <laughs> it was out of order when we got there, which is just great. So I'm going to cut it here myself. And what I basically did was, let me show you. I laid out the frame here on the MDF pieces, I just drew a line along the edge so I know where to cut and I'm going to cut the individual pieces because there are four pieces there and they all need to be cut very specifically so that it fits the exact door frame size. This is actually, I guess, one of the hidden blessings, I guess, of the saw being broken because the door is not 100% square and even the whole way across. So that's okay though, because I drew the line to line up with it perfectly. So the MDF will fit it primo, 100%. But now I do need to show you something really funny, which is what's behind me here. Are you ready to see? Do, do, do. do you see that? I have taped off a sawing area so that the MDF dust doesn't go everywhere in this room. And I'm pretty pleased about it because I think that's so smart because I actually have a lot of other stuff in this room, exhibit A. And it's usually a big cleanup even when we cover it. So in this instance, we most of the dust will just stay in here. So I'm gonna get to cutting it now, right now. At first I didn't think about it. At first I thought whatever, yeah. At first I thought I'd work around it I'd work around it But you turned out to be so different Yeah, you turned out to be nothing like them I changed my mind and got behind it I got behind it I'd let you take my breath Okay, so I am back and as you can see, we have the door frame and we have the MDF handy panels behind me, which we're going to add together to create the perfect door for my bedroom closet. Now to actually attach these on to that, I'm going to be using construction adhesive by LePage. Specifically, I'm gonna be using the PL Premium Max, which is my favorite construction adhesive. Now, LePage is actually sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to LePage because their adhesives are literally some of the best in the market. Now, PO Premium Max I chose specifically because it has the strongest hold, the strongest bond, and it basically goes on and dries 100% solid. And then also, this is the perfect type of product to use when gluing two different types of materials together because of the variety of materials that it works with. So this is MDF, this is wood, add them together, it bonds perfectly. I recently used it for marble to wood to attach those together. I've used it for wood to wood, but it also works on metal, plywood, drywall, laminate, brick, stone, concrete, like so many different types of materials, which makes it really, really versatile as well. Now this adhesive is also just really, really durable. It doesn't dry with any air pockets or anything like that. And it's just an awesome product to use, not only if you're just getting into DIY, but also if you are a professional in the trade and you want something that works and that lasts. Now, without further ado, I'm going to attach those onto the frame.
actually just leaned this up against the wall because it's really hard to see all the edges when it's on the floor. This way I'll be able to like see both ends and make sure everything's positioned really, really well. Carrying on then, shall we? let that dry then we'll move on to painting it i can't wait to flip it around and show you what it looks like the other way because i'm pretty sure it's gonna look super cool i love pl premium max because it does have that initial grip which holds everything in place makes it super easy to work with but lepage in general i just really love because they have such a wide range of adhesives and, and lepage is canadian which i think is super super cool it's been in my household since i was little and they just continue to innovate and make better and better products even as time goes on, which I think is amazing. They are, by the way, running a contest. They're gonna give you guys the chance to win one of four prizes, $500. And I'll give you the information on how to enter that at the end of the video. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations. Oh. I just quickly wanted to tell you a little trick when it comes to smoothing things out and blending things out, like wood fill, like caulking. Say you want to like blend in this section right here. I'm like taking this tool and running it along the whole way. But say there's just one section you want to go over again. Instead of like starting with your tool right against the surface and pulling from there, what you wanna do is make sure that you're already moving your tool by the time it touches the surface and that makes it all blend so much better. Otherwise you tend to have like a bit of a harsh line at the beginning of where you put your tool down. So make sure that instead of like this, you're going, oh, I'm already moving and then I touch. Hopefully that makes sense. Kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take the bones and make them better Yeah you, you're making me The next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill in the little edges here Because that is what really elevates the whole piece from looking like something that's DIY to something that looks professional and really well built and tough and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be using PL sealant from LePage. This stuff is great because it has zero shrinkage, it cures really fast, and it's also paintable in one hour. So key fact that it is paintable as well, because if it's not paintable and you've ever used a sealant that's not paintable, when you try and paint over it, it just separates and will not attach at all to it. But this stuff is paintable, which is awesome. So I'm going to just grab my little caulking gun and I'm going to cut a little slit here, very, very tiny. And then we're going to apply it to all the little corners. And also I did watch a video on how to do this professionally because I've used caulking several times before and I feel like my finish job is not 100% perfect, but now I feel much more confident that I know how to do it because I watched several, several videos and I see where I was going wrong. So, you know, that's what YouTube's for. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without So good, a huge tip is don't cut a big hole in the tip. <laughs> Not very much should be going out. And that looks phenomenal. Happy camper through the ups and downs 
keeping calm when in ground. I am done with all the little sealing and all that stuff. I'm about to prime it. I'm just using the Zinser Bullseye 123 primer, which is really important because if you have wood that has knots or anything like that, the tannins, I think it's called, can bleed through. I've had that happen before. It'll discolor the paint. So you wanna make sure that you use a primer that will block that. This stuff is good for that. Now, when it comes to the actual color of the door, I think I'm actually gonna end up painting it white. You tell me if you would paint it a different color. Um, I do actually have a different kind of vision for it in the future, maybe. I want to see how it looks white first, and then from there I might do something a little bit different, but it's just, I'm too indecisive to just decide right now. What I actually have planned is a little bit out there, if you can guess. Also leave your guess down below, just saying. <laughs> on where we're at so far. I've done two coats of primer on this and I think this is looking really good. I think at this point I'm ready to add on a top coat paint and for that I'm actually going to be using Bare Premium Cabinet Door and Trim Enamel which I think is a satin finish. I'm just going to apply this on. Now in terms of the actual color I wasn't sure what color to get this and I talked to the guy in the paint section and he said 90% of the time, the white that's out of the can is probably what they've used. Let's give it a little stir. So this is the closet, no door, and this is the current situation because we're trying to figure out how exactly to hang the door. I think we're going to have to put up a header board, which is what this is here. This is actually painted to be the wall color and it's a piece of wood. I can't believe 
that I built a door from scratch. That is insanity to me. I'm wondering, do you think I should be leaving the door white? Or do you think I should do something else to it? I did have a plan of something really, really crazy, but I'm thinking maybe white works, but you tell me what you think. You may have noticed that I do not have a handle on this right now. I did buy one and I tested it out, but I just didn't love it. So I'm gonna keep searching for the perfect one. I wanted to thank LePage once again for sponsoring today's video. Without their adhesives, this project wouldn't have been possible. And for you guys, because you watched this video, LePage is giving you the chance to win one of four prizes of $500. All you have to do is go over to the link in my description box, enter your information, and you will be entered to win. So what are you waiting for? Go do that now. I love you guys so much, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got to put the stopper. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can put a stopper for now. <sighs> It looks so professional. I can't believe we built this from scratch. Yo. Ridiculous. Like from legit scratch. Ridiculous. I can't believe it.